Welcome to Electric Cube, where we share some of our favorite products and tools for your wearables and crafts projects. I'm Dia, SparkFun's textile specialist. And I'm Nick, creative technologist. And today, we want to share some of our favorite products from the Bear Conductive line. Bear Conductive paint has been on our storefront for a while. It's a thick black water-based conductive paint, and it comes in 10 milliliter squeeze pens or 50 milliliter jars for larger projects or anything that'll work better with a brush, sponge, roller, anything like that. Paired with the paint, we used a new product called the Bear Conductive Touchboard. The Touchboard is a plug-and-play capacitive touch sensing MP3 trigger. That means that when you touch something attached to the touchboard, it will play a sound file of your choosing. Each of the 12 pins on the board can be linked to a different sound and connected to a different touch point. We used conductive paint and copper tape for our touch pads, but you can use just about any conductive material, including conductive thread, conductive fabric, even plain old alligator clips. We're powering the board using USB. We plugged it into a speaker and then loaded our sound files onto the SD card. We love this board because it's a really versatile effect that's very easy to use. It even comes pre-loaded with soundtracks that give you instructions for how to use it properly. And we love the paint because it's safe, non-toxic, and water-soluble. That means it's easy to clean up and safe to use with your kids. Well, my days are not taking you seriously. They're certainly coming to a middle. Fascinating. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Do bear in mind that while the water solubility is great for cleanup, it can be a challenge for a long-term project like this one. If you don't want to worry about the paint rubbing off if someone touches it with a wet hand, we recommend using a light clear coat, which shouldn't interfere with the touch sensing. If I wanted an interactive project that was safe enough to use in my child's room, these are the products I would use. She doesn't have a child. If I wanted an interactive project that was safe enough to use in Nick's child's room, these are the products I would use. Yeah, I, I, I don't have kids either. If I was fond of any child and wanted them to be safe and have a project in their room... She has never been fond of any child. This is the stuff I would use. Fine. You are horrible. You are... What? <laughs>